In this tutorial, I want to explain how short circuit evaluation works with the logical AND operator. Most everyone understands logical AND when used in a conditional. Both sides need to evaluate to true in order for the conditional to be true. But when it is used in short circuit, the meaning is sometimes lost. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript. As I always start these tutorials, click the bell button and subscribe. If you'd like to support what I'm doing, there are a number of different ways. In the description section, I provide a link to my courses if you'd like to dig deeper. I've also provided a Patreon link with different levels and benefits. And I've also published on Medium, so you can follow me there. Now, the logical AND is considered a short circuit operator. And what this means is that at any point when an operand is converted to a Boolean, when the logical AND is used, when an operand is converted to a Boolean, if the result is false, the AND operator stops immediately, doesn't consider anything beyond that point, anything beyond the false Boolean, and returns the original value of that false, the operand. So whatever value evaluated to false, it will return that value. Now, the best way to illustrate this is with example. So let me go ahead and go to the console here. And I'm going to do a little statement. Let result equal and then Notice what I have here. What is it, what is result going to contain when I press return here? We have let result equal true, logical and one, logical and 55, logical and high. Well, what it's going to contain is the very last truthy value. All of these are truthy values, true, one, 55, high. They're all truthy values. It will contain the very last one. So if I press return and look at it, you can see it does do that. Now let's just mix this up a bit. I'm going to come in here and put in a falsy value. Null is a falsy value. And by the way, if you're not familiar with truthy and falsy, I will link to a tutorial in the description that goes into that. Now here we have a falsy value. So what happens in this case? Well, as I said, when logical and is used is a short circuit operator. So as soon as it encounters a falsy value, it stops at that point, it doesn't go any farther. It returns that value. And so null will end up in result. When there is no falsy value, it returns the very last true the value. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this one. And sure enough, result is equal to null. So this is when logical AND is used as a short circuit evaluator. And this is the type of thing that can sometimes be confusing. Now, I want to show you where this can be helpful or applicable. I just want to show an example here. We'll keep it simple. What I've got here is I have a variable go and that's set to true. And then I have three functions. I have a do one, do two, do three function. Now let's say, let me set up a scenario here. Let's say I only wanted to invoke the do one function if the go variable is true. And then I only wanted to invoke the, go, the do two if function do one returned a true. And then I only wanted to invoke do three if function do two returned a true. All right, so how would we set that up? Well, we can do that with if statements. And it's actually pretty simple. It's not too difficult. We just nest everything like this. So if go, and then we do if do one. Now this will cause do one to invoke. And if do one returns a true, it will then go down here and, and do another if statement, which will cause do two to invoke. If that returns a true, it'll go down here and it will invoke the last one, all right? So right now, if I just save this and we take a look at the console, and I refresh this, we're just getting one. 
So all we're getting is this console log statement here. Because go is equal to true, so it does this line, this if, if statement, which causes it to invoke the function. All right, but it doesn't go any farther because by default, a JavaScript function returns undefined if nothing else is returned. And of course, undefined is a falsy value. Now, let's go ahead and set this up using the logical and as a short circuit evaluator. This is the kind of thing we can do. On a single line, I can accomplish all of this. And it would look like this. Do one, logical and again. Do two, logical and. Do three. We save that. We can see we're getting our one. All right, now let's modify this a bit. Let's have do one return a two, return true, or maybe return one or something like that. I'm just gonna do return true at this point. And now when we redo it, now we get a one and a two. So it's doing multiple of those. Now let's have this return high, which is a truthy value. And the last one, return 10, which is a truthy value as well. Now it should go through every one of those. If I refresh this, we'll see that we get a console log statement from all of them. Now, what if we modified this and we said let result equal what value is going to be placed in result? Well, remember. It is if everything evaluates to true, it's the very last one. If there is a falsy value, it is that falsy value that gets placed into result. So let's go ahead and save that and we'll refresh again. And let's find out what result equals. It equals the 10. So the very last thing that was returned here that was truthy, that 10. All right. So hopefully this has helped you understand how short circuiting works with the logical and. All right, if you are looking for more JavaScript content, remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. And once again, thanks for watching.